Hello, Purpose Driven Career Leaders. Welcome team. And I am live. Always, always fun when Facebook tells you you're live. Um, yeah, so I wanted to hop on here today to talk about this week's topic, which is five search tech tools that's going to help keep you organized and motivated during a job search. And why am I talking about this today? Well, in last, in this previous week's uh, mastermind group, I have a few of uh, the participants who are in this phase of the program. And a few were, well, one in particular was getting kind of overwhelmed with the amount of jobs she was applying to and just wanting to be a little bit more organized. So we were brainstorming different, um, you know, tools to help with that organization and also to keep you motivated. So, you know, the average length of time that it takes for to get a new job is five months. And there can be a lot of ups and downs, a lot of highs and, you know, lows in terms of, you know, maybe you don't get the job or something. So it's important to be organized and to stay motivated. So um, here are some uh, tools that is going to be helpful. So I'm not even counting this one because this one is the baseline. Uh, LinkedIn is the number one uh, job search tool that you should be a part of. If you are on the job search right now and you do not have a LinkedIn, I would recommend setting a profile up and we can talk about that on another day. Um, there's a lot to talk about over there, but I'm just gonna assume that you do have a LinkedIn profile. So the first thing is when you are sending out a resume or a cover letter, you've got to keep in mind that you want to match the job description to your job search materials. Yes. This takes time. This is probably the most time consuming thing. Um, why do you wanna do that? Well, there are two reasons. First, you wanna get through the ATS, which is the applicant tracking system. And most companies are using this type of software so that when you're sending in your resume, it scans your document for certain keywords or skills or things. So that's one thing that you have to do. That's one reason why you wanna kind of match the keywords to the job description. If you make it through the ATS system, you're gonna to wanna to keep your target audience in mind, which is normally going to be the hiring manager or the recruiter or the HR person. So you don't want them to think, have to think too much because you've got five seconds, six seconds to make an impression. So they're gonna be doing kind of the same thing. They're gonna be looking to find how your skills are relevant for this job. And you don't wanna make them think too long. If they have to think and kind of say, oh yeah, I can kind of see how their skills and, and strengths kind of apply to this it's gonna to take too long, you'll probably end up in the no pile. So those are two reasons why you wanna match your, um, your, your resume and cover letter to the job description. So there are some tools that can help you with this. So the first tool is the job scan resume scanner. So this is a Google extension. Um, you can put your, take, upload your resume and also copy and paste the job description. And this is going to highlight certain uh, keywords or skills that you might be missing. And this is gonna be really helpful. So that's job scan resume scanner. And I have a blog that's, that's live right now and I'm gonna post that link in, in the bottom of this, um, in the comment section. So don't, don't worry too much about keeping track of this. I'll, I'll post that link. So the second one is Job Seer Job Tracker. Um, this is another uh, Chrome extension that covers in the different phases of the job search. Um, so it's going to help, again, match your resume with the keywords, referral finder, skill search, company research insights. Um, I really like how this um, shows you where your your skills lie, so it has a, a little um, scale of one to 100 and it kind of shows you how qualified you are for this role. And it also kind of displays in the top right, the salary range, the education requirements, the remote on site in one picture. So that's really helpful. Um, 
teal job search organizer. So uh, a participant actually told me about this one and I love it. This is really going to be a, a game changer for you as it was her. She is a, a huge organizer. She gets, she loves that skill that she has of her. So when she found this, she was so excited and it actually helped motivate her um, in her job search. So this is teal job search um, organizer. It's another Google Chrome extension. It also has a website. So basically you can bookmark different um, jobs like on LinkedIn or something, and it will go over to your job tracker. And it also breaks down the job search cycle into different phases. So applying, applied, interviewing, negotiating, and accepted. Super easy, all in one nice view. Um, again, this is a game changer, especially for those who love organizing things. Um, so that's a really great one. So those are the ones that are really going to help you. Um, the two are going to help you kind of match your job description with your resumes, job seer, and uh, job scan. Teal is going to really help you keep organized the whole job search strategy. And then um, I also have this Hunter IO. Okay, so once you send off your your resume through LinkedIn or another job site, you're going to want to find the hiring manager. Um, so you're either going to do that on LinkedIn, um, you're going to want to send them a message. And then also if you can find them on social media, so uh, finding them, following them, and this is just so that they see your name keep popping up, right? And then you're going to want to email them. And the next question would be, how do you, how do you find their email? Well, hunter.io is a great tool for that. Um, and you know, you can guess. So if you're trying to find me, is it Corey.burkholder at Inspirality or is it Corey Burkholder, no period, or is it K Burkholder, Corey B, whatever that is, you can send out like tons of emails and guess, but Hunter.io is actually going to show you, um, the, you know, the, the string. So that's going to help you save a lot of time. Um, that's the fourth tool. And the last tool that I'm going to suggest is Grammarly Writing Assistant. If you don't have this, you've got to have it. This was a game changer for me because I write a lot. Um, so it helps you with spelling. It helps you with grammar um, and then punctuation. So it's just an extra thing. So if you're sending out your materials and there is a, a mistake in there that could get you on the no pile. So there is a free version of this and I've upgraded to the, the premium just because I write a lot. It's worth the 12 bucks a month for me. Um, but this is just an extra way for you to land in the yes pile. I don't have affiliations with any of these tools. These are just tools that um, I'm using and my students are using. And so I wanted to kind of give you this information. These are some of the things that we talk about in our weekly meetings and our mastermind. We really share uh, strategies and tools that's gonna help us catapult our success. Um, so I'm curious, what job search tools do you use that you just can't live without? We'd love to hear those in the comment section. And if you are in a job where you are looking for a change, but you don't know what that change is and you're sending resumes out and things, this might be a little too advanced for you. You need the clarity first so that you can make the plan, right? So um, if you're in that, that position or you need help with job search strategies, I suggest reaching out to me and scheduling a quick 15 minute brainstorming call and I can work out if or how I can help you. I'll post that link in below. And that's it. Those are my tips for this week. And my name is Corey Burkholder reminding you to take action, feel the fear and do it anyways.